Alright guys, this is the 27th, I think, hired request. The Doors, Come On Baby, Light My Fire. Um, great song. And I'm sure glad someone hired me to do this one. I like this one a lot. And it's a version that uh, has the melody in the right hand. So those of you who like to play that kind of thing, and also the solo, uh, the big solo all through it. I do that as well, but let's listen to the intro here. Alright, I missed a little bit there, but we'll fix that as we go along. Well, hello everyone. I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my Easy Piano Lessons. I always put the free part one on YouTube and the rest of the lessons for this song as well as thousands of other piano lessons that I make for my online students on my website, webpianoteacher.com. That works on all mobile devices if you're that kind of person. Likes to do your lessons from the iPad or iPhone or, or your Samsung Galaxy or whatever it is. You can do that. Uh, <clears throat> I have another website that is separate from webpianoteacher.com that is uh, seancheek.com and on there that's my personal lessons on learning how to sight read. If you want to learn how to read real music and read better and faster and easier, I used to be terrible at it but I retrained myself years ago to do it well and uh, if you'd like, like in on that, how I learned how to do that and then do it yourself, uh, that's my website seancheek.com for doing that. Um, on uh, Facebook is the best place to get a hold of me or see what I'm up to. Just do a Facebook search for webpianoteacher.com and you'll find me. Anyway, let's get to this um, free part one here. And I actually did this off of a video that someone hired me to do. And it's some, some uh, guy just playing uh, on YouTube, playing uh, his rendition and putting the melody in the right hand. And it's a pretty good job, you know. Um, and... and, and it, not only the uh, the verse part, but the solo in there that's in there. He uh, transcribed that as well, and I do that note for note. So the part, all that, and all the solo part that goes in there, I transcribe that as well. So that's in the lessons too. So it's just uh, a long lesson series on that because I included the solo because that's what was in the video. Okay, all right, let's get started. B G A B D C B A G. So I'm going to use a five finger pattern. I'm going to put my thumb on the G, A, B, C, D, and I'm going to start my third finger. B, G, A, B, D, C, B, A, G. Boom, ba, da, 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 da. Okay? Uh, and the guy on the video uh, actually had a couple of notes different on the intro. And I want you know, on the intro, i got to make sure that's exactly on. So I uh, searched the song and... Uh, made a couple of changes on that to make the intro exactly note for note what it should be. So I um, hope you guys like that. But you, you got to know it's in a different key, right? It starts out in G flat. And I put it, we put it in G here to make it easier to play, okay? Because it's not really in G flat or G. It's kind of one of those, you know, in-between keys that they did when they didn't care what the tuning was back then when they made recordings. So <laughs> I put it in G for sake of ease for us, okay? B, G, A, B, D, C, B, A, G. Left hand goes G, and then we're up to D, G with our uh, two and one. So if you line these up, you have together there. And then a D by itself. And then together here on the C. I think when I play, first play this, I played a low C, but I think it works better to do a C here. And then B. Now when you do the A, let's do a G, C on the right hand right here. So that first box is... pedal from the G to the C. Now the next measure, all right, so that's going to be A, and then we have F, A, C. This is really kind of neat because it's kind of in a classical style, really, uh, you know, Mozart or, or Haydn, that kind of thing. It really is. So A, hold that for a bit, then F, A, C with one, two, three, and then we'll put a fifth finger on an F, and then D, C, B, I'm going to use 4, 3, 2 for me. D, C, B flat, G, 
and then A flat G. So. is going to be F, and then C and F together, and then B flat, and then together. So, uh, measure one to measure two. I'm oh, sorry. Alright, the rest of it is not this difficult. This is one of the most <laughs> difficult parts of the piece. So we're going to go A flat, G, A flat, B flat, C, boom, ba da dum bum. Let's we'll start with a two. And then B flat, A flat, G, F, E flat, F. So bum, ba da dum bum, ba da 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 da. Then we start with a two. And then a five on the C. So you can do a fourth finger on that B flat. And then cross over for the E flat. That seems to work best for me. Better fingering or one a finger that works better for you that is fine. Left hand low E flat with a fifth finger, and then we'll do B flat and E flat with two and one. Then we go to an A flat. Then we're up to E flat and A flat with two and one. So put hands together. Sounds weird going slow, huh? But if you know. Three measures together. Okay, and when you practice, practice in pieces. Learn one little section, then learn another little section, then tie them together and see if you can play them together. And then learn another little piece and tie it together. Eventually the chain gets too long and you've got to pick a different starting place and that's okay, but that's the best way to practice I've found. If you're an advanced pianist or if you're a beginner. So this is going to be A, down to A on the thumb, and then C sharp, A, E, A, C sharp, E. So bop, 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 bop. left hand is just hanging out on an A octave down here. And the next measure continues that A major chord. A high, A low, A, C sharp, A, C sharp, E, A, E. So bop, bop. You guys will really like the solo, you know. You know, and, and, uh, and all that goes with that. I really put a lot of time into that part of it. So let's go from the beginning to the end for the solo part at a slow tempo, okay? Talk to you later. Until next time.